Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This video is update version of this video. This is from my friend Victor and he showed you seven different levels of how to highlight active row and columns. So I would suggest you to watch this video and subscribe to his channel. I'll put the link of this video in my description. So in this video, I uh, explain how to highlight this active row and column and active cell for a specific sheet using number formatting. But in this video, I'm going to show you one way that we can highlight any range from any state using VBA. So it's not using number form shot here. Yeah, conditional formatting. I'll use VBA for this one. So whenever I'll select any row, it will highlight this this row and this column like this and it will highlight the active cell on a different color and it will do dynamically so like you know if i select here then it will highlight this one if i add another seed and i have a new data then it will adapt accordingly so i have already coded this part so i'll just explain the code instead of starting from the scratch so you can see i have this code and what we need to do we need to just copy this code i'll put the file as a attachment so you can download this as well so you need to go into this developer tab if you don't have developer tab then you need to go into file options customize ribbon and then you need to check this one so you need to go into this developer tab and then click on this visual basic or you can press alt f11 so now you will find this when this file is doesn't have any code so seat one seat two and if you have more seat then you'll see that but we need to find this workbook so you need to double click on this and just paste the code that we have copied from this section okay so if you look at this code what we are doing is basically we have some constant so these are kind of like handling how the color or how the fill will look like so you can change this accordingly and you can use your own favorite color i'll show you how to get this value as well from the color so these are two constants so active row or column color so that is basically highlighting this active row and column color and if you look at this carefully then active cell has a different color so this is that active cell color this is for active row and column color if you want you can use different color for row and different color for column as well but you need to change the code and we have some private module level variable and this is being used to remove the old cell color so let's suppose if i select this particular cell and then if i change my selection to this one then I should remove this previous color, right? So that's why I am using this private module level uh, variable. So that is book name, seat name, cell address, and old row color and old cell color to restore the old color. So basically, this is the main part of this video. So you can see that this is the workbook selection. This is the seat selection chain. So whenever we select any different cell, this PVA code will trigger. So let me show you. So if I just select this one, then you can see it triggered this particular VBA, right? So uh, that is the seat selection change. And what we are doing is that, okay, if we have this book name, so like, you know, if it's not the first time, then we need to remove the world color. So that is, we are just getting this previous worksheet. And then we are just changing this color with the world color. And then, so this is for row, this is for column, and this is for the set. And then we're just restoring those color so that is this code and if you look at this part then i'm just saving this information for future use so i'm just saying okay book name is just uh, this target so target is that cell which i have selected so that is that cell dot worksheet dot parent dot name seat name is just worksheet dot name cell address is whatever that address and old show color or cell color and so on and apply new color so now this is just this like storing for future use so that will just for for future clearance right and apply new color so i'm just saying okay target that rows dot entire row dot interior dot color equals to that active row column color so if you have different color for row and column then this will be the row color this will be the column color and this will be the cell color okay so let me just show you this demo and so if i just select this then you can see it highlight these rows right in a gray color and this column and this cell so if i change this selection then you can see that it removed the old color and you know 
different formatting from the previous selection and then it applied the color and formatting to this new selection. So we can do this and it will automatically highlight those active cell and active row and active column. And if we go to different sheet, we still will see that it's highlighting, right? And you can see when I move this, you can see we don't have that color anymore, but we have this color in this section. So if I select this one, and if we go back and select another cell, now if we go back to the seat one, then we'll see that, okay, we don't have the previous color here. So that's why I'm using that this part to clear out this previous color that I have applied using this code. So one thing that if you notice that it's highlighting the entire row, right? So like this entire row and this entire column. So if you want to handle that, that okay, instead of inter row or inter column, I just want to highlight only into this particular region, right? So that is called current region. In that case, we need to add up this code a little bit. So instead of saying okay, inter row, we need to find intersection between that current region and this inter row. And that I have added here. So you can see the changes is like this one that intersect that target dot current region and target dot rows dot inter so we need to find intersection between those two so inter row will just give me the whole row and current region will give me only that portion of that range so we can find the intersection and that will be the that particular rows okay so let's suppose if i just copy this code and replace this and then if i just highlight this oh, i should have cleared those previous color okay so basically you can see that visually better here yeah. so you can see instead of highlighting the entire row now it's just highlighting in this region right so that's how we can limit this into the current region so that's how we can do this dynamically and one more thing that i wanted to show you is that active row or column color so how to get this particular thing okay right so you can see this particular cell is selected right now so now if i go immediate into control z so active cell dot address and just show you that that is d4 okay so that is d and 4 now you can just say okay name this cell i need to go into this interior and then find me the color so that is the color so what you can do you can just go into this and then choose different color if you want so let's suppose this one and now press this again so that is 862871 now just put it here right and now if i just select different cell it will use that particular color okay that's how we can handle that okay or we can change the color and you can visually choose this color and then get the color code so that's the whole idea a couple of things to notice here is that it will remove all the colors if you have custom color let's suppose you have different color on this cell and different color on this cell then it will remove that color because we are trying to restore the color and we are using only one color so if you want to do like exact undo in that case we need to store all the cell color and that is going to be memory inefficient so you need to watch out for that and one more thing that we can limit this in a different way or you know we can also work with like you know let's say it will only be applied on a specific region of different sheet then we can handle that as well except that we can also modify this code with the uh, previous code and then create another constraint that okay if you want to use only the current region or the whole row or column so we can combine those code as well so that's the idea let me know if you have any question or if you have any suggestion on this way or if you need a better way like you now if you want to use conditional formatting let me know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe have a good day